Well, today is a special day. Once upon a time, a boy and a girl fell in love and decided to get married. To the most beautiful angel of my life, Tara. Dear love, I remember the first time we talked on the phone for hours. Your voice is so sweet that melted my heart. Since then, that's why I love you and feel like chocolate in the heat of your love. That day was Sunday, November 26, 2018. I said to myself, I need to meet this amazing angel. My dear love, as soon as I talked to you, my love, for the first time, I felt this intense connection to you. It's as if God knew in my soul that you belong to me. Your lovely voice drew me near, and I cannot wait to see you. The day we met, I will never forget. Of course, the part of you kissing me so passionately and scaring me. You looked into my eyes so deep, and even though I was so scared of my feelings, I knew you were the one who God intended for me to meet. Many days, then time passed by. Then we set time, the place, and the day to meet. It was a turn of the time. Can't wait. I could not wait to see you. Since that day, I fall in love for you. Until now and forever. That day I knew God made you to be my only love. Today we are celebrating that love. I wish you a terrific and wonderful day in love. Together for life. As we walked along at the park, as you drew me to you, holding me tight, you made me feel so secure and loved. You made all those anxious feelings I had disappear. I'm so grateful for the love you showed me then and now. These last years, as we have come together as a family, I feel how I truly know the man you are. How you love and protect your family with deep love and concern. Nothing is more sexy than that. The compassion you show for your girls and your son, making sure that they are okay, is so wonderful. Now, as we prepare for husband and wife, I'm so excited to be your wife, to be called Miss Portillo, and to hold you for eternity. I will love you and carry you with my life. I promise you the deepest love, the fullest devotion, my tenderness, care through the pressure of the present and the uncertainty of the future. I promise to be faithful to you. I promise to love you and support you forever. This day will be like no other. We have waited for this for so long and for this moment, and I'm so excited. I'm deeply committed to being your wife. Your life is my utmost concern, and I promise to love and respect you for all the years to come. I know marriage takes work and patience. I promise to love you through the good and the bad. I pledge to respect your unique talents and ability to lend you strength for your dreams. You have shown me what love feels like, and for that, I thank you. Thank you, Tara. I promise to listen to you, to walk with you, to honor the Lord and grow with you and God. I will not forsake you. I promise to communicate and listen and honor you. You have my whole heart. I think of our love like a butterfly. You landed on my shoulder and whisked me away with all your sweet love. God has granted us so many blessings and I'm so grateful. 
You are everything I need. And at this moment, I know all my prayers have been answered from the Lord and that all my dreams have come true. I praise God for you every single day. He has helped us and myself have that deep faith that love conquers all. You've taught me how to love, how to be loved, and what that actually means. I have never felt so loved and happy. I know we have been faced with hardship, but look where we are and what we have now as a family. God is so good, and I praise Him for that. And with great hope and now it is my distinct honor and privilege to pronounce you husband and wife. You may kiss your bride. Tara has been my very best friend, my sister, since second grade. She is the kindest person I know. She genuinely cares about people. She's forgiving, she's optimistic, she's so loving, and she sees the good in everyone and everything. As cliche as it sounds, she makes me a better person when I'm around her. I try to be as good as you are, at least when I'm around you. <laughs> The way they look at each other and the way they treat each other with so much kindness and such affection is something that we should all strive for. God bless you both and I love you so very much and I'm so happy for you guys. The thoughts that my dad taught me is he taught me a lot of things I never lied. He taught me how to use the, the, the saw machine, cut the lawnmower, and also cleaning the house. He also, a lot of things he taught me. Iron the clothes are very important. And Tara, she also taught me a lot of good things about her heart because she, she, she's like my, my, my real mother or stepmother, but maybe a real mom. When I first met Joe, I was heavily pregnant and hormones were going on. And I went into my mom's room and I said, I need to talk to you, Joe. I don't like, I don't like you guys' sappy love. It's, it's too much for me. <laughs> Joe is, is a blessing for our entire family, for her to have someone like that in her life, in all of our lives. It's really good. And, my mom deserves it, you know, she really does. Mine and Joe's relationship was slow to start, but once we got to know each other, we got really close. Joe's been really supportive to me and my sister. One of the sweetest things he said is, Addy, I wish you were my daughter. If you were my daughter, I'd be so proud of you. I've never seen her happier. I'm so happy for my mom that she found someone who loves her and thinks of her 
as he says all the time of his angel. I'm so happy for you guys. I love you and wish you a great marriage. It is truly an amazing, amazing opportunity to be here and join me being welcomed in their home. And for my family and I, we thank you everyone for giving us, making us feel like we're home, making us feel like there are responsibilities to form a family, even though we have families from here. Like she has her daughters, he has his family, but we can all become one. Regardless of the obstacles in life, I, feel, I believe that it's just beautiful how two families united together today. Blessings, blessings your way. I'm tired of not soon alone. For all of your love and constant friendship, I know our love is coming from heaven. I love you with every breath I have. I know once I walk down that aisle and look into your eyes, I will be full of emotion. Oh, how I've longed for this day and treasure every moment and every memory getting to this point. I promise to be with you always and forever. From this day, you should not walk alone. My heart is your shelter, and my own will be your home. Our love is like no other. I feel so peaceful like the waves of the ocean and the calmness of the sea. I know in my heart, our love can withstand any obstacle. As I have given you my hand to hold, I give you my life to keep. My heart was broken when you show up in my life. You put these pieces together. You are my inspiration to build anything. I don't think you will ever comprehend how you've made my dreams come true or how you've opened my heart to love and how to be loved. I walked into love with you with my eyes wide open, choosing to take every step of the way. These two hearts in this letter means yours and mine. We will build anything we want together like these two hearts. Synchronizer, synchronizing. No one can stop us loving and achieving our goals. I do believe in fate and destiny. I would choose you every time in a hundred worlds. I would find you and I would choose you, my love. Let us take every moment with all of our loved ones and share our love with everyone. My heart is so full right now and I can't express how much I love you. You, my love, have me forever and always. I want to grow old with you. We will be so cute together and I just imagine all these moments and treasure every one of them. Let's do this, babe. You are my angel, my sweetheart. You are my life. You are my everything in life.